One of the gameplay loops that I've been dreaming of and looking forward to in Star Citizen is the salvaging gameplay, in which you're going to be able to break up ships big and small, harvesting weapons, components, raw materials, and more for maximum profit. Alas, it's still a dream, as we aren't even close to seeing that mechanic in-game. So in the meantime, in order to wet my salvaging whistle, I thought I'd give another game that embodies exactly what I hope CIG comes up with. This old gamer, Toilet Duck here, and today I'm signing on the dotted line and entering into an indentured servitude contract to the tune of a mere one billion dollars in hard space. Shipbreaker, out now on Steam Early Access. So at this point, I have been playing about, uh, I might have 10 hours in game so far, and so I don't want to say I'm an expert by any stretch of the meaning, but this game is a lot of fun. Um, it allows you to do exactly the kind of destructive mayhem and just general fun that I, I would expect from exactly this. Now, I do have some complaints, um, and they are minor. Uh, obviously, what you're seeing on screen now is the actual gameplay, and it looks nothing like the trailer that I played beforehand, but uh, that's okay. There's very much a stylized set of graphics, and I, I will say that from playing... Star Citizen for so long and seeing such just amazing and glorious graphics in Star Citizen, uh, these graphics seem a little less, uh, lesser. And, and I, I don't mean that in necessarily a negative way because, uh, let's be honest, Star Citizen has taken a long time to get where it is, whereas this game has is, is actually come out in fairly short order. Um, but it, it just was a little jarring when I first started playing. Now, having said that, who cares? It's awesome. The, the, the game is just fun. Um, so, by the way, don't do this. Don't, don't cut through the glass. This is a terrible way to do this. I've learned, I've learned so much playing this. This is one of my earlier games. But anyways, it, this game allows you to do just like you see there. It uses a weird, I guess it's a voxel system to you know, cut through pieces and parts and, and your lasers uh, has strength and you have to consider angles and you have to consider, you know, uh, Einstein's, you know, motion and whatnot, because, well, you know, what, uh, you know, forces, you know, if you push something hard, it's going to push you back, you know, so it's, I mean, there's just, there's just so much, um, and it's pretty, it, it is pretty, it's not Star Citizen pretty, but it is a pretty game. Uh, complaints. So first of all, it is in early access on Steam. So I, f I fully expect everything to change between now and when it, and when it um, comes out. I know some people have had bad experience with early access games. 
I really haven't. Um, I, I don't know. I guess, uh, I guess my tolerance for crashing and bugs is extremely high. I mean, I, I, I play Star Citizen, so uh, this game is nowhere near as buggy as that. I've probably crashed a total of three, maybe four times across that 10 hours. Um, other than that, I mean, my major complaint is it doesn't quite take into account my super wide screen uh, so some of the UI and other parts of the game things are off the screen or they just they just don't work correctly they they do need to work on that they're there it's not quite right and that's something I am 100% sure they will fix well before the game is released um, and I do find that I'm fighting the controls a little um, like for example in Star Citizen uh, I use space sort of my, as my space breaks to, to slow me down or stop me. Um, and I use W and S instead of forward and back. That's up and down. And then I have forward and back on different key binds, et cetera. This game doesn't let you change your key binds. And I'm sure that's just yet. That's something that is coming. Um, or maybe, I don't know. But I assume it is. I mean, that seems like it would be pretty trivial for them to do that. But other than that, I'm trying to think of other major complaints. Uh, the ships right now, I think there's only five ships in game that that I know of, and they're similar. They're all the same in um, well, each each individual ship. Each time you get it, structurally is similar, but the interior will be dissimilar. Like there'll be different stuff in there, uh, and you have to deal with things differently. And I could see very easily how that will get more and more varied over time. Uh, but the game, the idea behind the game is, is it's trivial. You're trying to make money. So as I said in my intro, you sign basically away your life um, and you work for this corporation to break up ships. You are the ship breaker. They call you cutter throughout the whole game. And the, the idea is you've signed up for this job and I get the impression they maybe didn't tell you all of the details or let you read the fine print because um, they've basically charged you a billion space bucks or whatever to get you up into space to do this. And then it, it's, it's basically debtor's prison because every time... You know, you need oxygen, they charge you for oxygen. You need you need a tool to do the job, they charge you for that. And so, like, every day, uh, every shift, they call it, uh, is a 15-minute shift. And every 15 minutes, they charge you, like, 500,000 credits or space bucks or dollars or whatever you want to call it. Well, geez, you know, it's... Uh, now, I'm to the point where I'm making you know, over uh, uh, 1.5 million every shift because I've, I've gotten to the point where I can cut stuff up pretty quickly and, and I, I kind of done it enough to know how to do it. But, geez, it, it'll take forever to get to a billion, you know, to, to get yourself out of debt. That That is a long time. And the if you read the lore, the irony is even your clones are in debt. Like, that's part of the contract. So suicide is not really an option because you'll just spawn in a new clone and that clone will also have the debt. You know, it's, it's clever. It's a clever game. And it's fun. You know, the, the, there's, there's two basic tools. Um, you've got this tool that I'm using right now is like a push-pull thing and, and you can use it to pull stuff off the wall. Like, that's a light that I'm... I'm just pulling it off the wall using the strength of this push-pull thing. And then you can see I can grab it and then aim it where I want to send it and sh launch it down there. There's three primary places where you send things. There's the barge down below. Um, then there's a processor over to the left. That's the blue one. And then that red area is a furnace. So some, sometimes you're going to uh, pull stuff off that just needs to be smelted and you'll push it into the furnace. But, I mean, that's it. The game itself is incredibly simple. But adding the, the 15 minutes, the money-making aspect, the oxygen aspect, you can see in the center there above my fuel and health, there's a bar that's ticking down 100, 99, 98. That's oxygen. It just said oxygen critical. You know, that's, that's a problem. You know, there's, they've added all these different things to make it a challenge to actually do the job. So, yeah, the, I mean, for... 20 bucks or $24, I think is what it is on Steam Early Access. 
I think it's worth it because it's it's a lot of fun. Um, and they're not paying me to say this, by the way. I paid for it. I'm, I'm getting no remuneration at all to to recommend this. Uh, I'm in fact, I'm just kind of hoping they don't they don't add a copyright strike or something like that. Um, but I, I recommend it. This game is fun. Now I am concerned about it getting a little samey, you know, uh, over time, doing the same thing over and over. So I really hope they continue to add more meta and more story aspects to it. And I'll get to that in a second, as well as uh, more ships. Like I said, I think right now there's only five ships, five, you know, core hulls. Uh, and then, you know, they'll have different stuff in them each time, but the hull shape is kind of the same and how you break them is kind of the same. So I hope they will... Uh, add more, and I'm sure they will. I mean, early access, and they already have five. I mean, these, these things probably take a long time to put together. Um, and then big the big thing is I really, really hope that CIG downloads and pays very close attention to this game because if they just implement salvaging as this game... In fact, CIG, just hire these people. Just get them to do your salvaging because this level of gameplay is exactly what you want for your salvaging so yeah so the well done guys the 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 to the, the folks that made this this is really fun it's really a good game uh i'm looking forward to see where you go from here and i can't wait oh this is one of the other bugs uh, that you see how everything's kind of turning black um, I think it's a shadow bug, something, I mean, shadow of something, eventually it goes away, but, uh, it's, it's annoying when it happens, but either way, it's a really good game, guys. The bugs are really minor. Uh, mostly the big one is the, is the screen resolution one for me. That one's just irritating. Uh, I'm sure that will get fixed. It's not terribly difficult. Uh, but yeah, well done. I enjoy it. I recommend it. And if you guys want to try it, I'll put a link down in the comments below. Uh, if you've been playing it all, I'm wondering what your thoughts are. Do you think this will ta uh, last the test of time? Um, you know, what, what do you hope that the developers of this game will do? And, you know, what will they, how will they make it better in your mind? Or what do you like? What don't you like? Etc. Just comment down below. I'd be interesting to hear. Anyway, guys. This old gamer toilet duck here, I really appreciate you guys. Comment and like if you would, please, and I will see you next time.